Hey Larry, I'm going to try this. It's a little, it's kind of almost at dusk, so I'm not sure how this is going to come out. But I want to give you a quick tour uh, around the yard. This is where I've got the um, uh, petunias growing, and you can see the morning glories. I've got uh, coming up on those uh, iron things. And here's the side. You see the um, whatever that's called. Uh, <laughs> and then the daylilies. So you can see this is a cool one, that, the spider one I got from up at the Bethlehem Flower Farm. I think this is one of yours right here. See that one's about to come out. And then this has come back from last year. Hi guys. Hi oh, puppy dogs. And then, so here's a quick view of the backyard going around. Then we'll go down this line. That's the, uh, those are your Jerusalem artichokes right there. And then morning glories and some irises. And then these are just starting to bloom that are what we used to call the Ch Chinese mystery plant. I think I got uh, the Cleome is what it's labeled as. And these are tomato, my tomato plants right here. And a, uh, Think of that one. The day lilies growing here. These I got from the Bethlehem Flower Farm. And my uh, hollyhock right here. This just bloomed today. I wonder if this is yours. Look at that, man. The color on that is just unbelievable. And daisies. And that's yours. That's uh, that tall one is yours back there. And then you can see the where they haven't budded yet too much one has right there some more of your tiger lilies and there's your this is your plant that you gave me right here and you can see where I'm starting the ferns over here right guys and then over here that's the plant I got from here your uh, friend, your friend from church, is closed up right now. Um, that's a uh, squash or cucumber, I think. And this is where you can see that they haven't really done much. The daylilies look dry, don't they? They haven't done a whole lot right there. But on this side, just two feet away, they're doing pretty good. Um, most of them have buds on them. See that spider lily again? One of your tiger lilies, and then tomato plant here. And then we'll go through the gate. You can see the uh, um, see these that I've got started, the hostas. Front. See, look, look how big this uh, shrub is. I think about a snowball bush right here, and then you see the petunias on the front here. More of the petunias. And look at these. This is really. These are several. This is a new one that just came open today. Man, it's just unbelievable. It's a little different than those others. And this is your first daylily right there coming up. This Coreopsis, some corn flower, and a new one that's just budded. And that's yours. It's 
small daisies back there. And this is down through here where I planted the poppies. So I'll give it a quick, big view here. Um, this is going to be mom's area in the corner, but this is where I got the sunflowers and the poppies. And then this is the, um, oh, I can't think of the name of that one. Mm. Can't get it. Sunflowers. And then this is all mom's area back here. This one just bloomed today. You can see it right there. The marigolds are doing well. And then this is my wildflower where I put all the wildflower seed all the way down through here. So you can see it's about, about three inches high. These are sunflowers back here. See it's about, there's got a few things starting to flower, a few things. This is all from wildflower seed all the way down through here. So that's it. <laughs> that's your tour. I just got done playing tennis. First time I've played tennis in about at least five years. So hope you enjoyed that and we'll see if we this will uh, come out. Now I'll put it up on YouTube. All right, bye.